with this video and in this one we are talking about the type of garden soil it has to be very very well saved it should not have any kind of uh, you know uh, particles of stones or rocks because peridos really really like becoming really like deep probing when it comes to extending their roots so we will be needing a very well sieved garden soil and it's a plain garden soil i have not added any fertilizer to it at this point please do not add fertilizers when you're just sowing it okay because it can overwhelm and bacteria can start forming in the cut areas of the potatoes that we are going to be putting into the soil and let us now look at how we will be lacing the potatoes first with a little bit of soil on the portions that we have cut i have placed the potatoes on the soil and now i have laced this particular potato with this soil okay so just like that we will be doing this one also and next, the amount of fertilizers that we are going to be adding, I'm going to be talking about that. So both the potato pieces are well laced with the soil, okay? Just the plain garden soil. And I've also taken very uh, moist. It's not wet, it's not soggy. It's just moist cocoa peat, okay? Or you can use any type of fibers that you want. You can also use sawdust, mulch, anything. This is 50%. This is also 50% in volume, not exactly weight. As you can see, it's filled up till here. It's more or less filled up till here. So more or less, I will be mixing both in 50%, as in 1 is to 1 ratio. Along with that, if you want, you can add a little bit of sand, but I don't really think it's necessary because I think the type of soil that pot potatoes um, like when they're put into the soil is uh, something that is very airy, okay? The soil needs to have a lot of air incorporated within it. So it's best that you make the soil light and fluffy and occasionally be adding some kind of a fertilizer and this cocoa peat. So we're gonna just take a look, see the potatoes. Yes, these are those same two potatoes proud heads that we kind of sowed okay i've lightly covered them up with soil as you can see the soil is very fluffy okay see i've lightly covered them up it might happen sometimes and see this one this one has grown so much after i potted it, potted it. if you compare with my last video you will see that this one has actually grown quite a bit i'm gonna show you guys see Yes, these are those same two potato sprout heads. See how much they have grown. It's been uh, about four days now or five days that I sowed these guys. See, they're looking purplish on the top. Um, and sow them very lightly, not too much deep into the soil. Actually like this and just lightly cover up the sides. That's it. This is one and this is the other one. Okay. Now sometimes it can happen that one or two of these uh, sowed potato heads and uh, cuttings might just rot. And if it does rot, then just scoop it out with a shovel. Also scoop out the area surrounding it so that there is no fungus or any kind of uh, remains of the rotten thing going on in the soil. Because it can affect other plants. So just take that out and completely throw it away. All right, and uh, well, if you are sowing it on the soil, like on the uh, in your garden, and not on a this is just an experimental thing that I'm doing. But if you're sowing it in your garden, then make sure there is at least 30 centimeter or 40 centimeter gap between two cuttings. Okay, if you um, really really want a very good uh, growth of the plants. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will be seeing you guys next time with more interesting tips and tricks for your gardening. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye bye for now.